Hello community, so great that you are back. Yes, we have a new Gemini 3 flash model and we will compare it live to a GPT 5.2 high model. So welcome to my channel and yes, we also do a live testing of AI models. So here we are December 17, we have a Gemini 3 flash, a frontier intelligence model built for speed. And this is great, but you know what's even more interesting? We do have multimodal reasoning capabilities. So Flash will help you to see here and understand any type of information faster. You can ask Gemini 3 Flash to understand your videos and images. And now it gets interesting, no? Now, if you look here at the official benchmarks, let me help you and I will focus here just first on the price. So here in blue, you have the Gemini 3 Flash. And then all the other models, let's focus here on GPT 5.2 extra high. So you see the input is for 1 million input token, 50 cents. And GPT 5.2 extra high, close to $2.175. Okay, but look at the output. For 1 million token, Flash has 3 bucks. GPT 5.2 extra high has 14 bucks. So this is more than four times cheaper with Gemini 3 Flash. So you might ask now, how good is this if we compare it here to a GPT 5.2? My goodness, is it four times less intelligence? Let's find out. Now, if we look at all the known benchmark that we know now for more than two years. So let's say you develop a new model, you know exactly against what your new model will be benchmarked, which is just great because we have a standard, you know, and the here we have a look here, Artificial Analysis Intelligence Index. Now what they did, they took now out 10 evaluations from this beautiful list. No? That okay, you can have here this and this combined or whatever. Now if you combine this 10 evaluations here, you see immediately. No? GPD 5.2 extra high is at 73 points. And Gemini Flash is only at 71 points. Yeah, so this would indicate... It is not really four times worse in the performance than a model that is four times more expensive like GPT 5.2 XI. Now, I was thinking, hey, where's the high? Because XI is really expensive. No, where's high? Where is this? Because the GPT 5.2 is here with 48 points. I mean, this is not at all anymore in this century, no? So, okay, I was missing the high. So I said, okay, I'll test it against the high. Now, you know, I do have some history of GPT 5.2 because here I dared to go with the normal 5.2 and it was a blood buff. You know, this was really not in this century. So therefore, today I learned I have now a test between Gemini 3 Flash and GPT 5.2 high. You know what? But not an old and known benchmark test. At first, let's go something that is not on the internet. And you know what? Let's go from this simple test to a real world science test, you know, a causal reason and scientific facts. Let's go something that is really helpful for science, if you want to learn this, not for the known benchmark. Would there be any difference? What do you think? Let's go live to the test. So we are live here at LM Arena. You see on the left side, we have Gemini Flash. On the right side, we have GPT 5.2 High. Yes, I use here an open platform. You don't have to pay. You can do this test yourself. And I insert my test to Gemini 3 Flash. Yes, we agree to everything. And the same GPT 5.2 High, we agree to everything. And now you see both miles are start to sync. This is just great. Yes, LM Arena. I wanted you can replicate everything that I show you with no additional financial resources. And as you can see, OpenAI provides GPT 5.2 high for testing. So why not use this platform? And the same goes, of course, for Gemini 3 Flash. Now, some of you told me, hey, there's a three second, four second difference if I run it really on OpenAI platforms. OK, so take all the timing with plus minus five seconds. So. This is just here to show you the general performance that you get an idea about the overall performance here on LM Arena. Beautiful. So, having talked about all of this, now we are just waiting here for the first result to come in. And you see Gemini 3 Flash is flash syncing. But yes, it is a real complex task. It also has some non-deterministic inputs and GPT 5.2 high 
is now, if you want, optimized. I've read that GPT optimizes here continuously their models. So I don't know which is now an updated version or not from my one week ago testing, but let's have a look. Okay, I think for the rest of the time we can just skip here. I just want to show you here the reasoning complexity that both models here will have to perform. Gemini 3 Flash, come on, you are a Flash. Yes, 1 minute 28 seconds later we have the first result by Gemini 3 Flash. Beautiful. Optimal sequence of button presses, 9 presses. You know, uh, Gemini 3 Pro did 8 presses, so if I get 9 presses, I'm happy. So there is a shorter sequence with 8, but look, it found here the perfect way to go to floor 50. Yes, emergency exit, this is the correct way, 9 presses. We reach the floor 50, we have enough tokens, we have enough energy. The shortest path via emergency exit, this is correct, beautiful. So the tokens finish, yes, okay, some detailed information, avoided branching. Reach here the exit in 8 landings or 9 button presses is here the limit. It's not really the limit, but for this little flash, beautiful. So now let's start the validation run. I tell here Gemini 3 flash, excellent, now validate your solution and then try to find a shorter sequence of button presses. And wait a minute, what is happening here? We have a response A and a response B. Okay, they do an A-B testing here with us. Okay, no problem. Let's have this. Okay. And one minute, 47 seconds later, we do have here the validation by Gemini 3 Flash. Okay, as you see both, okay, how it works. Yes, I know, I have to press A or B. Yes, better B or better. Okay, this is still possible. So let's have a look at response A. Yeah, floor 50, emergency exit, correct. The sequence of button presses is still 9. Okay, so it validated it beautifully. Emergency exit, this is the correct way to do Yes, requirements, okay, token requirements, card, code cards are okay. Proof of optimality. Nine presses. Resource buffer is there. No shorter path exists. Okay, for a flash model, I think if you have nine steps compared to the best eight steps, this is great. Okay, this is now trying to find a new way, another shorter sequence. Look, it has set up a new strategy. This is interesting. So it has divided, subdivided in three phases and it has set up now a new procedure, a new idea how to go there. Okay, let's have a look. This is not really looking great. Look, we're 16, 17 steps. No. So the final optimized sequence is nine presses. Okay. Yes, with the green code card. Okay, we have a self-correction setting in. No, with this new methodology, I don't think we already had a beautiful solution. No. Hey, wait a minute, GPT 5.2 high is coming. After 7 minutes and 40 something seconds, GPT 5.2 is entering the race in... Oh gee, I don't know. Is it Mandarin? Please help me. Is it Mandarin? Is it Korean? Is it Japanese? I have no idea. <laughs> Hello, Sam. Uh, why do you switch to a non-English <laughs> for the to solve this task? Okay, now let's go back to Gemini 3 Flash. Okay, I think this second option here, 17 presses. No, this is really, this is a strategy that delivers some correct solution, but not the best solution. 17 is definitely not the way to go. So I think we go over here. A is better. Yes. So we have nine button presses. Almost perfect. Great. Just look at the time difference between those two. No? Okay, back to GBD 5.2 high. I can see that, okay, lockdown on the token, the floor 12, yeah, floor 33. Okay, floor 33 and we are stuck. That's happening. Hey, what's, is it, hello, are you there, GBD? Hmm, okay, yes. Trying to think through the possible combination, but yeah, we are stuck. Okay, no problem. Maybe it's just a connectivity issue. No problem. We can wait. What does it continue? No, it's not active, the button. No, we just have to wait. Sometimes this happens. No problem. 
give it a time. So you see, after before eight minutes passed, we have now GPD 5.2 high, also entering the race. So yeah, another run, Gemini 3 flash. I say, okay, verify again. So nine is your shortest sequence. Any other ideas to find the shorter path? But GPD 5.2 high is still is still sinking. Okay, it's a sinking model. Beautiful. I think we are now about eight, nine minutes into the race. We already had this the third validation run with Gemini 3 Flash, also with a nine-step solution. And we're now waiting here for the first solution by GPT 5.2 high. Okay, I mean it should happen now every minute, no? Come on, yeah. Unfortunately, I can't read it. I'm so sorry. So, yeah, but I just find it interesting that a American GPT system <laughs> tries to find a science solution not in an English language. So cool. Yeah. Okay. We're waiting for Gemini 3 Flash and we're waiting for GPT 5.2. Hi. Come on. Anybody of you want to do anything? Hey, GPT-5 high, first result. Yes, here we are. And we're at floor 33. So we managed to go to floor 39. Okay, and now it's done. This is it. Stop, continue. Let's continue. We say continue. Maybe it was just a timeout. No problem at all. So we're at floor 39 or 50. Hey, here we are. We can see a thinking process of GPT. Do you, uh, English, yes, yes, this is good. Floor 50 in less than 20 button presses. We have the code cards, blue, red, green, and yellow. Correct. Analyze the flags. Beautiful. Yes, enabled. Analyze the buttons. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. This is great. Strategy formulation. This is a sinking model. Get to 50 the fastest way. Avoid something. Beautiful. Now we see the power of GPT 5.2. High reasoning. Yes, now it's going. Okay, now we get a better solution, hopefully. Path one, okay, total presses so far. 42 is not the way to go. No, this is not. Let's try to get two cards. Okay, blue and red. Okay, let's try to get blue code card first. Gemini 3 Flash is finishing here. No, it has still, it's the same sequence. Okay, so Gemini 3 Flash, nine steps. Not the best solution, you know, best is here. Even with Grok, we found a seven step solution, but normally the foundation models reach eight if you give them enough time. And here a flash is giving us nine within a very fast performance. Great. Now back to GPT 5.2 high. Okay, there's another path sequence. Okay, now it is trying to find a solution. GPT 5.2 is sinking. Too long, too slow. The first valid solution. Can I do better? Can I get to 15 less than 20 button presses? Yes, of course. You're the one of the most intelligent AI system on this planet by OpenAI. Oops. Ah, we have an answer. Okay, this was the sort process. One minute, 40 seconds, thinking. Okay. Now this is the official answer. 16 button presses. Really? 16 button presses? No. 23 button presses to go to the floor of 50. Correction. There's an error. The correct sequence is... There's an error. Great. E. Um, yes, you know that this 23, another 23 button presses. Total press is 16. No, we just have 23 button presses. Final resource. So the total press is 16, which is not given me. Final resource energy is zero. No. Look at the other side. The energy requirement, EPC requirement is more than five or five. So what's happening here? It found a solution, an incorrect solution, just ignoring one of my commands. GPD 5.2 high. This is a Pareto Optima solution with 23 steps that you show me and then you tell me it is 16. Random traps. Therefore, this 16 press solution is the shortest possible sequence, making it Pareto optimal. This is absolute incorrect. Look. 16 presses, 23 shown, and energy at zero. Look, the requirement is... Okay, so GPT-5, hi, just deleted, ignored one of my instructions and found a solution. 
and I say validate that your final EPC requirement greater than 5 is correct. Now GPT 5.2 is syncing. The high version is syncing. Okay, let's see what it is, the syncing process. So we have here syncing. The user is asking me to validate the claim. Wait a minute. Uh, okay. Identify the error in the provided solution. The user provided sequence solution sequence is I have not at all provided a solution sequence. GPT 5.2 high is going crazy. Look at this. This is a uh, okay, that's a runtime error. I think we lost GPT 5.2 high. We don't even get one valid result. Okay, the user asked me to validate. Yeah, so analyze the provided solution final state. It says floor 50, which is incorrect. Energy package is zero. Zero is not greater than five. Therefore, the claim is false. Identify the error in the provided solution. It found a solution that is completely incorrect and it ignored one of my solutions. It set here the energy level to zero as a valid constraint. And I waited seven more minutes, but GBD 5.2 high delivered no result at all. This is it. Okay, I think um, you have now a direct comparison of a non-known benchmark test. This is here a causal reasoning test. This is a logic test. This has some scientific complexity in the test. And it also includes some non-deterministic facts and some traps. Okay. But you had here a real live comparison. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gives you some insight into the performance of the model. If you leave the known tracks, the known path here of known benchmark, and you should always do your own research. I hope you had a little bit of fun. Why not subscribe, become a member, maybe even give me a like on this video. Anyway, I hope to see you in my next video.